مرحبا سلام عليكم انا اسمي فاطمه have something to ha to have them feel arabic live arabic you know that that's the culture you want to feel it you want to experience it We should begin by kindergarten. We should, and that's what we're doing in Safford. Well, I like the happy program because we're involving the whole world to come together as one. Well, it's just something different because so many people learn Spanish and everything, and um, right now people need people who speak Arabic. So, oh, well, like it's all the stuff going on with war in those Arab countries. So, be a lot. Of help for Americans who do know English and Arabic. Now that we've been in this class, we take like our other classes more seriously also. And to watch our students just stand a little bit taller and a little bit prouder and say, I'm an IB student, I'm at an international baccalaureate school. International baccalaureate, part of the program is that the children will learn a language B is what it's called. So Arabic is, yes, Arabic is part of the international program. It's not separate. I also feel that there's a lot of prejudice against people who speak Arabic. So I think it's important to educate our children, especially starting at a young age, to understand what is, how dangerous that stereotype is, how hurtful that stereotype is, and how amazing the, um, the culture truly is. When I grow up, I really wanted to join the Air Force and be a translator. So I thought that this would be a good idea to take Arabic. But I would recommend this for kids who like challenges because learning a different language is challenging, especially when you're getting older. We, we're learning about food later on in the year. We're gonna, we learn how to dance the dabka. Having that mindset of open up, opening up to the world um, will bring people to Arabic. And those people that like to challenge themselves will come to Arabic. It's so exciting. They get to go to Choya and continue in the language, and they will also have opportunities to go to the U of A. Learning how to be a doctor and learning through Arabic, it just is, it's mind-boggling. I think that that's what our world needs, is for us to understand each other and work together so that we can move forward in more peaceful, um, healthier ways. Marhaban, assalamu alaikum. Ana is me Courtney. Ana fi taliba fi madrasa choya. Marhaban, or masalama. Um, I went to middle school at Safford K through eight magnet school, and I chose to go to choya because I've taken Arabic for two years prior to coming here, and it's like it's the only school in Tucson that offers the same language, and I'd like to continue with it. They're just a great bunch of people that are really misunderstood by a lot of cultures. And if they see other people stereotyping, they're going to learn to stereotype themselves. But if they're brought up from a like, really young age to not stereotype, to be open-minded with other cultures, that's what they're going to do. I, I like learning about different cultures, and I like learning like the language itself. It's so similar to my original language, which is Spanish. Some, a lot of words are the same, and some of the things, like their culture, it's similar to where I come from, you know, and I can relate to it. Also, like, how when you're talking on the phone in Arabic, you, you say a lot of greetings, and it's the same thing in Spanish. We are Choya High Magnet School. We serve approximately 1,750 students. Uh, we are predominantly Hispanic students. Uh, we serve the Tohono O'odham Nation students as well as the Pascual Yaqui students. And part of the IB uh, profile is that students have to have a foreign language. And we found that Ms. Jandali can do that for us in the Arabic uh, program. So it's been, it's been certified as a language with the diploma program, so students will receive college credit with that. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum fi madrasa Choya. Ana Noor Jandali wa ana ustazat al al Arabiya fi madrasa Choya Thanawiya. Madrasa Choya, it's international baccalaureate, Aidan. Uh, the language of Arabic is the language of poetry. 
and when they hear it, it's like a music, and then they learn about music, they learn some part of dance, and we've been very successful. This year I have almost 160 students at Troya, and at Southward they have almost 110 students, and we have more people who want to be in the Arabic class, and we're trying to uh, also hire new one more teachers too. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, which means peace upon you. Because our teacher says Assalamu alaikum all the time, and I think it reflects the culture how bringing peace to another one because you're peaceful, and then how they would say it back, mean Walaikum Assalam, which means peace upon you too. Uh, I want to become an army officer and do uh, field work with infantrymen. Plus, if I learn the language, uh, I can also speak with the Middle Easterns on how I can help them or what they need. Preparing our students for a global economy is what we're looking for. Um, we also have the JRTC program that's coupled with the Arabic program that we know that students are going to have choices to go to the military. So we're looking beyond the United States for our students to, to, to go into the global market. We have some of our students whose parents have served in the Middle East. And now we also have students that are from Arabic-speaking countries who have come to, to USD, and so we want to make sure that we serve them as well. This spring, um, Kent and Denise from the QFI ran across a young man uh, who is one of the classes that we have here and was, they were impressed with his story. Um, QFI is now supporting the young man to going on to uh, post-secondary education in Middle Eastern studies. Students, they've been having like double major at the University of Arizona and uh, some of them already traveled to Middle East. I have one who got a scholarship and went to, uh, uh, to Turkey. Ana men, Ana men, Arizona. Ana men, Arizona. Ana men, Syria. Ana Tucson. Ana men, Tucson. Ana men, Tucson. I plan on on becoming a translator in Arabic or working in a on on a position where I can use Arabic and also like I I'll keep studying in college and I want to go to medical school become a doctor. It's open to the world. My students know about the news, what's going on in the Middle East. They know what's going on in the other country. Shukran, QFI.